in this version, I, I kind of want to have my shield out most of the time because it's better to have shield than to not have shield. <clears throat> Alrighty. Oh my god, that is a lot of skeletons. Yeah, I will, I will die if I go down there. Fight me, you bitches! Fight me! Don't be pussy! Don't be pussy! Ah! Uh, don't- FUCK! I take off shaders to find my way back home because the lighting gets really weird. Um, and really, really dark for no good reason. So let's go back down in a cave, but I had a good news. As you could see, there's a lot of pigs and horses and stuff spawning. Uh, now that I keep on placing more torches around, for some reason, more mobs, more overworld mobs are spawning. Um, and that is really good because that means that the more p torches we place, the more, um, the more mobs will spawn that are not hostile. Uh, and that we can actually farm and get stuff off of. Killed it! Okay, these guys are all fighting against each other. It's all like a... These guys are all fighting each other. It's actually funny. Uh, okay. We got it. We did it. We did it. We got rid of everything. Okay, so we got a golden apple to start with. We got some redstone, some gunpowder, and we got some string, which we's, which is really good for making a bed when there are no sheep around. <gasps> we got a name tag, and we got a lot of bones, and we got a disc, and we got we got all sorts of good stuff. We even got a saddle. I saw a horse upstairs. Um, so um, that's really good. Uh, and this is a cave system, too, so we're off to a really good... <gasps> what the fuck was that? Okay. So now we might even get a pig farm, because I saw a lot of pigs up, uh, up above. Hopefully they don't despawn. I'm gonna hold the torch out again so that you guys can all see what's what's going on. Because nobody likes it when you can't see shit. But I might have to take it away for a few... For a few special occasions when there are skeletons and I cannot defend myself otherwise. Alright, so we currently have 63 coal. That is a lot of coal. Um, so this is a cave. Inside of a cave, isn't that nice? Lava is a good source of lighting, honestly, it really is. <coughs> it's a shitty way to die, but it's a really good lighting source. Alright, so there's a ravine here. I, th I think this is a ravine. Which is nice to find a ravine so early in the in the cycle here. One thing I do know about um, underground Minecraft is that we are never going to come across a village unless we are just super lucky and there's like a mess up in the seed because there are no underground villages. Um, they spawn above the bedrock ceiling and there is a bedrock ceiling in this uh, in this seed and actually every seed. Okay, no. No. Mm -mm. Not the Elio. Oh, it's a spider <laughs> and he willingly died. Wow, okay then. That was quick. Okay. We're getting out of here. Because this, this place gets a little messy. No! Ah, oh, shit. I fucked up. Okay, never mind. There's some water here. I unfucked up. Great. Great. My pickaxe broke right in the middle of mining. I actually wasn't looking anywhere near my durability. So I'm gonna have to get out of here the old-fashioned way, the punching way. Imagine how much this must hurt for the Minecraft player thing. So here is the way up. Never mind, I lied to myself. That is not the way up. Yeah, so this is where I had those... I'm gonna actually take these chests, because I actually just don't want to waste wood on chests. That's a dead end, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright, do you hear that? That is the beautiful sound of... Farm animals living in my territories. That's a skeleton. Those are zombie little baby zombies. They're on the man, there's so much of them. How the hell am I not hitting you? Like, what the fuck? Alright, so I got some bread to eat for now. I got these golden apples, some of that. Alright. Let's fill this thing up with that. And, um, let me see if I can s if I can spot a horse. Let's put this double chest here. Let's put an extra chest up here. Yeah! Okay. That was easy. Now we got a... Now we got a trusty, a trusty steed with us, you know. It's all good. It's all... This is really good. We got ourselves, you know what, <coughs> yeah, your name is Tibble. 
Your name is Tybalt the Orderly. So Tybalt is going to be on his way doing whatever the heck he wants for now. And I'm going to build myself a house out of cobblestone. I'm just going to need to flatten the area out first. Oh, shit. Okay. You want to fight, boy? You want to fight? Oh, man, there's two. Oh, shit. Okay, that spider dropped some string. Okay, that guy dropped off somewhere. <clears throat> and I killed him to fall damage. Hi, chicken. How's it going? Man, I feel wrong for killing animals in this version. Like, I really do. So, um... Just because of whatever I want, I'm not going to kill most animals that I come across except for, like, I can't kill chickens. Like, come on. They look at me with their sad little eyes and they go, but you were vegan in the other run. Why can't you be vegan in this one? You know, it's not like I'm going to be underground and vegan, but like, you know what? That doesn't seem like a bad idea, but I already ate rotten flesh. So, you know what? I'm not vegan. <clears throat> All right, let's go put the um, iron ore into the furnace. Smooth stone. You know what? I'm going to make a blast furnace first, though. So we're going to make three of these, and then we're going to turn them into three smooth stone. Because I don't remember how much smooth stone you need. Oh, come on. This is why I need a house. So to make a blast furnace, we're going to... Oh, God, it's another invasion of zombies. Come here, guys. Bring it on. Bring it on, I got you. Okay, there's some white wool here. So we need one more white wool, which means we need to kill, like, four more spiders, or something along those lines. We need to kill a few more spiders. Um, I don't think there's any sand at all. Because, um, it only choose it only allows you to choose between one, um, one biome that you would want to have. Like, just one biome. Um, and I chose planes, so there's probably going to be no sand as far as the eye can see. Oh, great. I look away for one second and there's a f two freaking skeletons. Okay. Okay, you dropped two string. We need two more. Do I have any in the chest? No, I do not. <gasps> oh, shit. I've at last arrived home. And there's a spider here. Damn it. Well, that's actually a good thing because now I'm at three string. And I'm hoping I get a fourth piece of string. And there's two Endermen here, too. That guy didn't drop anything, but now I'm at half a heart. So that's good, you know? Always nice. So I need this guy to drop some string. I don't care how much. It's got to be some. Yeah! All right. Okay, good. Now we can finally make a bed. Uh, and then we could sleep here when it's nighttime. Which technically isn't right now. Um, but it will be soon. So that's that. Yeah, so I could only sleep at night, so when it becomes nighttime, I need to go and sleep. <laughs> uh, let's take these five iron out of here, put them on the top here like that, put a furnace in the middle, put that there. We got a blast furnace, let's go. I'm going to smelt my gold in here, and I'm going to smelt my iron in here. And it's good, we got, <coughs> we got that going. So I got 64 sticks, 32 coal. I got a lot of torches to place down. That's basically what it means. All right, so uh, this isn't a vegan run. Just going to clarify that because a lot of people are going to be like, Oh my God, no, you're not vegan. It's not a vegan run. Just shut up. Now we got a great source of food. We got leather, which is good for all sorts of stuff. I don't really know. Um, all right, let's just do that. Oh, that's great. Look at that saturation, dude. Excellent stuff, dude. So this whole place is just filled with torches. It actually kind of looks beautiful, not going to lie. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so as you can see, there's literally torches everywhere. It's just I need to expand them onto this area here. I just want to make sure the spawn area is illuminated. So that, you know, I don't have to worry about mob spawning or some other unforeseen mess that could possibly happen. We could expand on top of this hill. Okay, look at this. This is beautiful. This is actually kind of beautiful. It's got some torch layout. I'm doing this until I run out of torches, basically. Um, 
So one, two, three. Bam, there's a torch there. Bam, there's a torch there. Okay, I just broke something, got a seed off of it. <coughs> one, two, three. Bam, one, two, three. Bam, two, three. Bam. It's a lot of jump. It's currently nighttime. Nighttime and daytime really doesn't matter, honestly. Um, because it all depends on how dark it is, really. Um, I have more. I have 14 more torches to place, so I'm gonna place them along this side. Beautiful area I got myself here, you know. Honestly, I'm really proud of myself. I really am. Uh, the trees grew. I'm gonna try breaking all of them. Alright, so I mined all the trees. Let's wait for the saplings to appear. I might want to actually, like, build a wall here. Donald Trump style, because... Um, um, there's skeletons down there that like to shoot at me for fun. So I might get to working on that soon, or in another t at another time. It's just to compile all this stuff together. Okay, got more wheat seeds. Let's plant those. Bam! So we got... This little wheat farm here for bread. Um, we're going to need to, like, lure a few animals to here. Wherever here is. Um, wheat seeds. We're going to need... Ah, oh, damn it. I did that. I did that. I'm so very sorry. All right. So there's water here. We need more water so that we can make an infinite water source. Get all good and all ready, you know? So I got more of this stuff to smelt. <clears throat> I got iron ingots, 39 iron ingots. Let's go make some full iron armor.